Hi there. Giving Tuesday is at hand. It's all about unleashing the power of people and organizations to transform their communities and the world. I talked about the power of giving with basketball legend Bill Walton. Bill is renowned for his tireless commitment to the many causes that matter to him. Giving back and making a difference defines Bill. It always has since the beginning of his basketball career. And more importantly, he's inspired many pro athletes to do the same. It's one thing for a high profile individual like Bill to lend their name and influence to charitable causes. But what about the rest of us who aren't so high profile? In the spirit of Giving Tuesday, I asked Bill to talk about the opportunity each of us has to make a difference. So someone who does not have a high profile, someone right. who says, you know what, I'm here in my community, but I'm I, I don't get a lot of attention. I'm not, uh, I'm not a, a big high profile individual. Um, you know, how is my getting involved going to make a difference? I come across that all the time. People will say, what can I do? The problems, the challenges are overwhelming. Who am I? I don't have enough money. I don't have the platform. I don't have the teammates. Maybe I'm not strong enough myself. I look at them and I tell them the story of what I learned from my college basketball coach, John Wooden. And he would say things like, basketball is just like life. It's not a game of size and strength. It's a game of skill, timing, and position. It's not how big you are. It's how big you play. It's not how high you jump. It's where you are and when you jump. You have to be willing to take a chance, to take a risk. And you're not going to finish anything you want to do unless you start. So I never wait. I see an opportunity. I see a challenge. I see a, a, a situation where people are in trouble. And I say, let's go. What can I do to help? And I get right in there. And so I always tell the people who, who come to me and say, you know, I was going to, but. And I first point to David Stern. David Stern, who is just, you know, he, he, he's, he's this tall, he, he, you know, he is not the giant and physically, but David Stern, who never played basketball, David Stern, who never shot a basketball, David Stern went on to become the most important man in the history of basketball because he took a business, excuse me, because David Stern, he took a game and turned it into a business. Right. And then I turn it to Steve Nash, because when you look around, there's a lot of winners of the genetic lottery who have dominated the sport of basketball, which has been my vehicle and platform of choice. I mean, all these big, strong, seemingly computer generated physical specimens. And then you look at Steve Nash, who is not. And Steve Nash, who is like David Stern. And Steve Nash, of all the players who I've ever seen, Steve is short, can't jump, not fast. But Steve, he has a brain and he has a heart. And that's where champions delineate themselves, the mental acuity, the emotional commitment. And so when you have examples that you can look to and say, well, if he can do that, because that's really the way I got here is that I would watch and I would study and I would learn and I would be impacted by other people's efforts, other people's success. And I would say, well, if they can do that, why can't I do that? And so I would go with that. And so with David Stern and Steve Nash, as shining examples, beacons of hope, and, uh, and, and just people who you can hold up and say, wow, if they can do that without the physical attributes, without the tools to get it done, but they have a mind and they have a heart and they have commitment and they have a selfless character and all the different things that go into being a great person, which allows you to have impact on others. And then after I remind them of David Stern, after I remind them of Steve Nash, I always ask them, you don't think you can have an impact because you think you're too small? Have you ever spent the night alone in bed with a mosquito? <laughs> yeah. Amen. Makes the point, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy in the world. 
on that note, you have just uh, given a, a wonderful parable on how everyone can make a difference in their community, in their world. They may not have the gifts that others around them might have, but everyone has a gift to offer to try and make a difference.